Good morning, students. Today I'm going to teach you properties of laser. Okay, so there are four important properties of laser: monochromaticity, coherence, divergence or directionality, and brightness. Okay, so we'll see it one by one. So first is monochromaticity. The name itself it is there. Mono means single, chromatic. Chrom means color. So the laser is having single color. Okay, so uh, otherwise we can say it as uh, the monochromaticity means we have very narrow spectral width. So technically, uh, monochromaticity means uh, the laser is having very narrow spectral width. It will be very very small when compared to the conventional light source. It will be in the order of ten power nine hertz. Okay, so because of this very narrow spectral uh, width, uh, many lasers can operate simultaneously. Okay, so the total number, so uh, for, say for example, the spectral width of a laser uh, for a conventional light source is like this. Okay, so the, the monochromaticity nature, the laser is having a spectral width of uh, a very narrow spectral width. So because of that, the many number of lasers can accommodate. Okay, so the total spectral width of all the lasers will be equal, almost equal to the conventional light source. Okay, now next, uh, the next property is coherence. So in the name itself, it is that coherence means how much it is related. Okay, so uh, for illustrating that, we will we'll, we'll just draw some diagram. So this is the uh, wave pattern of a laser beam, okay? And again, I'll have a few, another one laser. Okay, and I'll draw one more. So coherence, there are two types of coherence. One is spatial coherence. So first one is temporal. Okay. So first one is temporal coherence and next is spatial coherence. Spatial coherence. Okay. So temporal coherence is, so for illustrating that first let me pick two points. So first one is, uh, let P1 be the point at T, uh, at time T equal to 0. Okay, and next I'll take another one point uh, somewhere here. Let P2 be the point at time T is equal to, so this starting time plus again another one, some delay. Okay, so for example, so the first point lies in uh, T and the second point I'll take after 5 minutes. That is T plus time. Okay, so these are the two time intervals I'll place. Okay, so as the time goes on, I'll, uh, uh, every time I'll measure the phase difference between P1 and P2. Okay, so the phase difference between P1 and P2, let us, let, uh, let, let me assume it is 90 degree. Okay, if I, if I measure the phase difference between P1 and P2, it is 90 degree. Okay, after 5 minutes of time, I will again measure the phase difference between these two points, the same point. Okay, so it should be same as 90 degree. Okay, so at any time, if I measure these uh, points, uh, phase difference, all the time it should show the same value. Okay, then I will call it as temporal coherence. The laser is having temporal coherence. Okay, again spatial coherence means, uh, I'll take some other point. So, uh, it, this is P1. Again, I'll take some other point which is P3. Uh, Okay, so this, uh, this is taken along the uh, perpendicular direction of the propagation. So, the, assume this is the propagation of the laser wave and I'll, I'll uh, measure this uh, spatial coherence perpendicular to the propagation. So, if I measure these two values, P1 and P2, there should be any phase difference. Okay, so whatever the phase difference it is having, the phase difference, sorry, phase it is having, it should have a similar phase. 
for P3 also. So this is the spatial coherence. That means, uh, so, so say for example, if the wave is uh, zero, if the wave is like sine wave and the, at the, uh, t is equal to zero, it will be in zero phase. Okay, and at time, time equal to zero, this wave should also be in zero. So that is the coherence. So all the laser waves that are emitting, emitted or uh, emitted from the laser uh, device, it will be co in coherence. Okay, so that is the meaning of it. So continuously, spontaneously, all the laser uh, photons will be emitted. Small, small photons will be emitted. Every photon should have this two coherence, spatial and temporal coherence. Okay, so now let's see the third uh, property. So, and on one more thing is, uh, the, the coherence, uh, it is spatial and temporal. We have one more coherence, it is mutual coherence. Mutual coherence means, if uh, both type of coherence occur in the same waveform, then we can say it is mutual coherence. So, sometimes the laser may, may have temporal coherence alone, or sometimes the laser may have spatial coherence alone. If both the coherence occur in the same laser device, then we call it as mutual coherence. That's it. Okay. So the third is divergence or directionality. Okay. So for uh, explaining this, let me uh, uh, just uh, just uh, imagine. Uh, we have a torchlight and thing. Okay, so just uh, switch on the torchlight and uh, uh, towards the facing the wall. Okay, what will happen? We'll have a round light like this. Okay, and if you uh, so if the torchlight is like this, and you'll you'll see a beam like this. So this uh, a circle like structure we have. So this is called the beam diameter. Okay, in laser also we have the same word beam diameter. Okay, and as I increase the distance between the torch and the wall, okay, as I increase the distance, what will happen? Everyone might have experienced the laser, oh, sorry, the beam of the light will be bigger. Okay, so what is the reason of it? Okay, if you see the light, so this is the torch light like this, this is the torch light, if you switch on the light, what will happen? Uh, and the wall, it will be no, it will be emitted like this. Okay, so the light will, will fall on the wall in this manner. Okay, so this is the angle of divergence. So angle of divergence is the angle of the uh, the light that is traveling towards the target. Okay, so basically for conventional light source, that is like torchlight or any other light source, the angle of divergence will be very, very high. Okay, so because of this angle of divergence, as we increase the distance, okay, as I, as I said, if you increase the torch distance from the uh, wall, if you keep on going after, uh, say for example, after... Um, like uh, 100 meters or 200 meters, you cannot in see any uh, uh, light there. Be why? Because all the waves may might have diverged, diverged and the power will have deviated. So that's the reason uh, uh, we cannot see the light. But the laser will have high, uh, the divergence, the angle of divergence for laser will be very, very small. Say for example, it will be like this. Okay, you might have seen many laser devices. It will be like point at one. Okay, so as you increase the distance, the divergence will be very, very, uh, since the angle of divergence will be very, very small. Okay, so it, uh, it can uh, capture anything from very long distance. So this is the property, an important property for the laser. Okay, so we will see, uh, see it in detail. So basically, so theta be the angle of divergence, it will be equal to beta lambda by d. So d is the diameter of the aperture uh, radi uh, sorry, aperture of the laser cavity and uh, beta is the unity factor and lambda is the wavelength of it. 
Okay, so always as the diameter of the aperture increases, the divergence angle will be reduced. So, our ultimate aim is to reduce the uh, uh, divergence angle. Always the divergence angle will be very, very low. So if, if the divergence angle is low, then only it will reach very large distance. Okay, okay. So, first let us assume a laser cavity or a laser device. Okay, so this is the axis point. So from this point, the divergence angle is calculated. So it will go asymptotically. So asymptotically means, okay, so without end, it will move or both the rays will be moving uh, uh, non-parallel direction. Okay, so let us assume the, uh, the length be W. So the divergence angle tends to move asymptotically to a value of sine inverse of uh, W by Z. Once the uh, laser uh, beam is uh, emitted, okay, emitted out of the cavity, okay. So in order to control the angle of divergence, we will use a telescope, okay. So basically, telescope contains two lenses. One is uh, eyepiece lens, another one is uh, object, uh, objective lens, okay? We have two lens. One is uh, eyepiece, uh, so, uh, yes, eyepiece lens. And the next one is uh, the radius is bigger. So this is objective lens. Okay. So the laser beam, once it comes out of the uh, laser cavity, okay, once it is emitted, it will be uh, uh, given to the telescope or uh, the eyepiece lens and it will be collimated like this. Okay, and after that, it will be travel, it will be traveling in this direction. Okay, so the only difference is the angle will be reduced okay so after collimation before and after collimation uh, when we compare the angle of divergence will be very very much reduced okay so uh, the the wave that is coming out of the um, telescope will be highly collimated that means it will be almost parallel parallel means uh, it is not asymptotic it will be almost parallel so that it will it will reach very large distance okay the property is brightness. So in radiation, uh, we call this brightness as radiance. Okay, so the other name of brightness uh, in this topic is, is radiance. The, the definition of brightness is, brightness is, it is the power, the total power per unit area per unit angle okay unit solid angle so uh, on the whole we can say per unit solid angle how much the for particular area how much power it is the, so brightness is directly related to power okay so its unit is like this so the power uh, it is denoted by watts per uh, meter square per centimeter how much it is per per solid angle. It is denoted by steridium. Okay. So, otherwise we can write it as watts meter power minus 2 steridium power minus 1. Okay. So, normally uh, uh, the uh, brightness value of helium, helium neon laser. So, this is the very common uh, type of laser. Uh, for helium neon laser, the value of uh, brightness will be 10 power 10. Okay, it will be very high. Actually, the brightness value should be very, very high in order to have a better collimated uh, and highly directional beam. Okay, 